getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare starring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah Shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way I'm about to pop off Fuck you, you're lost We all know that we never really want a boss So I'ma do what I want to Something I can't undo Yeah, I'ma do what I want to Something I can't undo I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on stage So I'm taking six shots, all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to have you here again and I want to express my sincere gratitude for your continued support. Today we are diving into the exciting world of automotive design by creating a custom wheel for your car. As you have seen uh, in the short intro, our model offers an in, uh, extensive array of static design as each uh, uniquely defined by a set of parameters. Let's explore how to craft the perfect wheel by manipulating around 10k parameters. Um, this is the first in a series of two tutorials and this is what uh, we will achieve at the end of the first tutorial. This will be the results of uh, the first tutorial. And uh, this one with the, the result of the second tutorial. Okay. We start by drawing a simple vertical circle aligned with the x, z, in Rhino, we import Ingress Super with set one core. Let's identify the center of the circle using uh, the area command here. Now the goal is to create this small circle, this small circle that will be at the center of the wheel. 
to do this let's build a, a circle using the uh, circle common here so we create a circle centered on the center of the overall geometry and um, uh, horizontally centered within the large circle and uh, we rotate this circle by 90 degrees so pi greco for 0 0.5 and then um, um, and uh, rotate it in uh, um, around the x axis and uh, then we obtain this circle here and we move it by in the y direction by a parameter that we call displacement of the small circle toward the inside let me show how it works this parameter what is do this parameter let us do this movement here and so after uh, moving this uh, circle uh, we generate the main surface by executing, executing a loft between the outer larger curve and the recently found small one so we take this curve here that we, f we found now and uh, the overall curve here we use this curve to generate this loft remember to flatten the input in C now we go in this part of the definition and we want to extract isocurves from the main surface um, using the isocure command and uh, let's see what to connect to the UV input here so we have to do this part of the definition here we want to extract the radial isocurves from the surface however the isocurve input requires a pair of values so I create a series of zero using the duplicates command to which I will associate a range of equidistant values ranging from 0 to 1 the number of isocurves that will result will be equal to the number of subdivision parameter plus 1 so here we have uh, eight uh, uh, numbers, eight couple of numbers that will define the u values here, and then um, now I choose either the output in u or v. I use a core parameter to see what is contained in, inside um, the v output of the circle and. Um, and uh, so uh, we want this kind of curve and uh, so uh, I can proceed now I proceed to subdivide each is a curve using the, the divide curve obtaining a series of points now I will rotate these points uh, and uh, let's see how I found the values of the angles by which the points should be rotated so these values here are obtained in this part of the definition here <coughs> and uh, so let's take a um, full revolution angle here 360 degree divide be, uh, it by the number of subdivision that we want that is this parameter that we uh, use also for the previous part of the definition and then uh, um, by a value that allow us to parametrically uh, control the rotation so we've, uh, we divide this uh, number for this rotation parameter here um, 
and uh, moving this parameter we can uh, after we can control the rotation in this way okay uh, finally convert the value to radians before entering into the series um, the C in the C input of the series uh, we connect the, mm, the parameter number of subdivision and then we graph the results now we can proceed to rotate the points to apply this rotation so in G we have the points in A we have the angle in C we have the center of the of uh, the uh, the geometry and uh, what we have in x in x we have a rotation axis that we find with this part of definition so we take the central point and we move it in uh, y direction and then uh, we join the two points with a line it's very it's very thin okay this line so basically is a line crossing the central point of geometry and uh, in uh, parallel to the y axis and so this is this is the final results and um, now we have the right set of points to create the Voronoi distribution let's use the Voronoi 3D command here um, based on the points um, remember to use flatten for the point input here while in the B input insert the bounding box containing our lofted surface that we found earlier so here we use this the bounding box created around this loft surface so simple bound, bounding box that contain the loft surface and this is what we, we obtain now the last step is to apply the final command of this tutorial which is the solid intersection between two B reps this will be and this will be the result of the, the tutorial in the next one which you will find above we will add a three dimensional characterization to these lines we have found now if you want me to produce more videos like this i invite you to like and comment in the meantime i wish you a good day and a happy working